Car wash for the feet. Here we go. Good morning from Wisconsin. Good morning. The land of lakes. The land of cheese, cheese curds, beer cheese soup, cheese. Again, spotted cow beer, supper clubs. Okay. <laughs> Wisconsin. And the Ice Age Trail, of which we are on day four. And we have 15.3 miles to go today. Had a lovely campsite last night at a lake. You remember what that lake was called? Long Lake. Long Lake. Uh, in the Straight River segment. Uh, it was a DCA one tent campsite. Um, it was nice. It had a bench there. Nice fallen log to sit on. Access to the, the um, lake which is very much covered in lily pads, but uh, still beautiful. Got to listen to the bass chasing the, the minnows all night. Anyway, so we got a nice, beautiful day ahead of us. 15 miles to go. And uh, we'll talk to you in a bit. Also, um, when we just got off the road into back into the trail, this lady called out to us, hey, you guys, stop, wait. <clears throat> um, she wanted to warn us. We had already heard, but right on the highway there, you cross over a river and a lake, and someone just a few days ago, a through hiker, stopped to get water. She left her pack and poles at the, the trail right by the highway and just went down to the water. She's probably gone 15 minutes, and her pack got stolen and her poles. So <clears throat> we'd already known about it, and we don't, with two of us hiking, we, um, we just make sure to always stick together. And if we get water, it's usually right on trail where we don't usually leave our packs and do that anyway. So that was nice of her though, to stop us and warn us. She didn't know that we knew. Oh, I have a tip for everybody, for women through hiking the Ice Age Trail. If you go pee like I do, where I kind of hang onto a tree, to squat and it helps me just keep my balance <laughs> don't do it on a pine tree I did that last night and I went in a different spot this morning and did it again I didn't even think and then I got pine sap on my hands which is really hard to get off in fact you can't get it off unless you use like a special kind of soap which of course we don't have so my hands are like sticky and then dirt sticks to them and this is an icky situation. More car wash. Just when we were getting dry. <laughs> Pine Lake segment. Just walked through a big field. <laughs> It looks like we have some more field to walk through. If you guys could smell it right now, it would smell like cows. There's a horse. Oh. He's coming towards us. Wow. Is there a fence there? Nope. <laughs> Good job. Hey, baby. He's going on his trail. Aren't you beautiful? Look at our eyes. So pretty. Hi. 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 
first offset yellow blaze we've seen, which we've seen on the Appalachian Trail all the time. This one means go to the right, which there we go. Usually on the Ice Age Trail so far, they've just had like a little arrow that shows you which way to go. So we just got stopped. We crossed a road and a car went by and he got out and said, Chica and Sunsets? Like what? He was <laughs> just driving around, I think. That's pretty. Hoping to see if he could maybe catch us. And he did. Really nice guy, Mark. Nice to meet you. And he possibly offered us a place to stay coming up where we might need a place to camp. So we'll think about that and be in touch on that one. And he's a trail maintainer. Yeah. So thank you for all you do on this trail. For sure, like cutting all this grass. <laughs> this is nice. Greg just got bit by a horse fly. It was cool. <laughs> it was not. It made him swear and he was very angry about it. Cause it hurt, right? They hurt. They and smart. It only bit him because I had a bug that somehow got inside my hoodie. I was crawling down my back. So I screamed and he came to my assistance and then he got bit. <laughs> Mackenzie Creek segment. So we just finished the, I guess it was the Pine Lake segment. Did a little bit of road walking. We are definitely due for a break. We've gone six miles and yeah, we're ready for a break. The, um, the Pine Lake segment, probably not our favorite segment so far. <laughs> not one of our favorites because the, the ground was just really lumpy and hard to walk on and slowed us down a little bit. And then there were lots of stuff to, uh, weeds and stuff to go through that were wet and, and it was very buggy. I had to finally get my bug net out. There is there's 30, 34, 44.9. There's water. It's not on gut hooks. We're going to keep going because we know there's water a couple miles ahead and that's where we're going to fill up anyway. But that looks really nice. This is my bug net. Sunsets does not want to put his on yet. It's fashion weeds. But mine really helps to keep the annoyance level down. Chica is walking down the catwalk with a job <laughs> colored Camo bug net. Camo colored. It's last year's model, but who's counting? <laughs> wow. Is that like an uprooted tree. tree system? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's huge. Okay, mile 46.5 is water. Now, well, we just need to figure out how to get down there. Doesn't look like there's easy access. Okay, we just got done with a one plus hour lunch. 
It was beautiful. It was so nice. It was right at the end of the segment. Well, not the end of the segment, but there's a break where we cross the road. And we were getting our ass kicked. <laughs> we were. It's been hard today. <laughs> there's been some uphill and, you know, I don't want to complain, but it was hot and buggy and it was hard. Challenging. Yeah. So we just took a nice long lunch. Uh, Greg took a nap. I took a tiny nap. And there's a little breeze here. It was really nice. <laughs> These are thorns. So this is mile 49.7. Really beautiful water. Not on gut hooks at all. <laughs> you got big old frogs down here. Oh, yeah? Mm. Oh. He is big. He's a second one now, two of them. Oh, wow. Oh. Two little frogs. Greg's boarding the cool rag. Just dipped in the creek. Did you spin it to get air in it? <laughs> okay, water here at mile 51.2. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. 